Hey guys, welcome back or to my channel if you're new here. My name's Bree and I create content on fashion, travel, lifestyle, all the good stuff. So any of that interests you, please subscribe, turn on my notifications so you get notified when I post. Today is a really exciting video. I'm doing a collective haul of everything that I bought for my trip to Italy. Today's Sunday, I leave Tuesday. Um, the last couple of things came in yesterday, so I'm finally sitting down and filming this haul. I bought clothes and accessories from Free People, Shein, Amazon, um, where else? Uh, Pepper Mayo, H&M, and a few things from Target. So there's plenty to show. Um, let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. I'm gonna go my cat <laughs> I'm gonna go store by store and um, kind of just show you the pieces I'll try them on and do an overlay and you'll kind of be able to see like how I'm gonna style the items and I'm just really excited so let's go ahead and get right on into the video so I have all the pieces behind me and then next to me the things I couldn't hang up and I'm gonna start with the th place that I bought the least amount and then go to the most so the place I bought the least, I would say, is Free People. I bought four things, um, and I'm really, really excited about them. So story, quick one, I actually bought this white maxi dress that I envisioned wearing in Venice, and I thought it would just look so beautiful against all the color and just everything in Venice. And then it comes in, and I got a size medium, and it was like, three size it felt like it was like three sizes too big it ran huge so i was like well this isn't gonna work um if you hear toe beans and like little pity paws it's because i turn on the camera and my cats and dog think that it's playtime so sorry um <laughs> but i um take it to the free people in tampa and i was like hi like please tell me you have this dress or that you can order it for me she's like yeah let's look didn't have it in store and it was completely oh. sold out oreo it's not your time right now and it was completely sold out online I'm like okay whatever everything happens for a reason so they start like pulling pieces for me and stuff and I'm like trying to explain to them like the vision and I find this skirt and like if you know me this is like so outside my comfort zone but I love that like I've been really trying to dress outside my comfort zone and try different trends and like really just go wild with my fashion because literally why not and I found the skirt and it just like spoke to me. So it's this beautiful, like multi-layered skirt. It's a beautiful, um, like deep yellow with a couple of like some like mustard detailing and greens and reds and pinks. And the bottom of it is ruffled. And it's stunning on and it just like screamed Europe. I was like, okay, this is meant to be. <laughs> like, I no longer care about the dress. The skirt is everything. So I got this skirt and then I picked up two tops to wear with it, two options. They're the same top. Um, I have it in cream as well, but in our moving process, I must have misplaced it because I cannot find it anywhere. So I got a white and this beautiful green, which matches the skirt perfectly. You'll see in the try on. Um, but they're just like buttery soft high neck super thin little straps a little bit of like a deeper arm um, like the perfect crop and they were each $20 and the skirt was definitely a splurge but I'd have to say it was worth it the skirt was $98 um, but it's stunning and I will wear it forever it'll always be in my wardrobe I just chef's kiss you know if you know you know um, so I got those couple of items and then i was at nordstrom <laughs> stop it you guys it's not playtime <laughs> and then i was at nordstrom and i came across this free people top and it had beautiful detailing if you can't tell i'm like really into the greens and the yellows and like those deep like beautiful um almost like fall colors but i'm making it like spring <laughs> Um, so I loved this like little lace crop. It, I thought it was just a beautiful top to throw on. It'll look good with shorts, with jeans, with like a plain skirt. 
Um, but I thought it was beautiful. I really liked it. You'll see it in the try-on. And this was $48. And everything I got was in a size medium, except the skirt. I think I got a small. Yeah, I got a small in the skirt. Moving on to Zara. Oh, I forgot to say Zara in the beginning. I also went to Zara. How do you forget Zara? It's my favorite, favorite store. And I forgot to say Zara. It's horrible of me. From Zara, maybe it's because I only got two things. Um, I got two really beautiful pieces. I saw this dress online and I was like, it was like on the front page and I was like, I don't care what it cost. I don't care if I have to like call stores and get it like shipped to me. I don't care what I have to do. I will get this dress. Just imagine when I lift this dress up, me in Tuscany, going to vineyards, trying wines. So good, you guys. Look at this dress. This is probably the girliest thing I have in my entire wardrobe but it's like one of the most beautiful pieces ever. It is this beautiful, I would say mauve pink, and it has like a baby pink um, embellishment on it of like roses. It is just stunning. It has all these different ruffles going all different angles. It's a maxi, you'll see it much better in the try on. Multi-layered, like this is the vibe. Like all of these like ruffles is like super trendy right now. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of dresses. I'll insert some like example photos of what I'm referring to, but it's super in. I bought so many pieces like that. I think it's so beautiful. It really like hugs the curves the right way and like just makes you look very elongated and like elegant almost. Um, but it's just so beautiful. And then it has like this ruffle in the back and it's just stunning and it is so good on you guys i got a small and it like hugged me perfectly but i felt like if i like breathed a little bit too hard my boobs would burst and it would like break the zipper so i sized up from a medium to a large which i was really scared about but it fits fine if i were to dry it one time it'd be like perfect um but i got this in a large and i'm usually a small medium so it runs a little small for sure and it was 69.90 one of the most stunning pieces I've ever bought in my entire life. Shout out to Zara. You're a real one. Always. And then I got... <laughs> my animals. And then I got a um, jumpsuit from Zara. It's this beautiful, like... I'd say it's more of like a mellow mint. It's not quite like mint, but it's like mellow version of mint. If you have a better color, please comment it down below. <laughs> um, it's a little v-neck. And it's just like one of those jumpsuits that has like really no shaping to it. It's just long, the pants flare out a little bit, um, but I thought it was really pretty and it came with a brown belt, which is over there. I don't want to get up right now and grab it, but you'll see it in the try on. It just like cinches your waist in and the jumpsuit is just so flattering, so comfortable. Um, I think I'm going to wear this the day that we go to Pompeii and Sorrento, I think. I think it really depends on the weather because I don't want to be sweating. But I think it would look really good in Pompeii and Sorrento. And if not then, I'll probably wear it in Milan. Um, just because it's just really beautiful. And I think it would be comfortable to like take off and on when we're shopping. And like trying on things. And it's appropriate for like churches and all that. Um, and then I bought a couple little like cardigans. And like I'm bringing a jean jacket. Which you'll see in a moment. That I can just like throw over it if necessary um beautiful piece and i really love it and this was 69.90 and i got it in a size medium if i'm being honest i could have definitely gotten a small but the medium just gives me like a little bit more room for comfort so if you're going to order it and you want more of a snug fit i'd say size down like if you're in between sizes like me like i can do small or medium i would size to your lower size but if you want it to be a little bit more oversized and like super comfortable go with the larger size which for me was a medium so the next place is Pepper Mayo. Um, if you've never shopped from them before, it's just an online Australian boutique, I believe. And their clothing is really beautiful. It's really good quality. I've never had a problem. Some things do run pretty snug or small um, and it's Australian sizing, so it can get a little confusing. But let me show you the pieces I got that I'm really excited for. I did not order these with, the, with Italy in mind. I actually ordered these about a month ago never filmed a haul and it just works out that they are like the perfect pieces like it was meant to be or something 
I ordered a few more things from them, but I'm not bringing them with me, so I'm not going to show them in this haul, but I will be filming an entire pepper mayo haul on my TikTok when I get back if you guys are wanting to look at everything else that I got. I'm just trying to zip this up for you. So the first piece is this really cute little strapless tube top. Um, and on the site it said that, I believe it said it was Italy or someone in the comments said it was Italy, which I thought is really funny, like when I was going back and looking for links. So it's just really beautiful. I don't know if that's accurate, but that makes me happy, so I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is some part of Italy. Um, but it's beautiful, it's a tube top, it fits really nice. Um, for sizing reference, I got a US 6 Australian 10. This is called the Sunset Building um, Bustier Top. And then the back, Bustier Top, sorry. And the back, it zips. So that's really nice. And it just it fit really good. You'll see in the try on, I paired it with these really beautiful cream shorts. And I thought this would be great for like Naples, Italy to walk around in, super casual um, and really cute. The day we're exploring Naples, this is the first day we get in. So I don't really want to be too extra with my outfit. I'm probably going to be exhausted. Or I'm going to be really high on adrenaline and like ready to go. We'll see. Um, but I thought this was a great outfit for just like walking the city, um, looking around, exploring. And then I can put a jean jacket or cardigan over it. My cats are too much. Next are two dresses. Probably two very, very beautiful dresses. And I'm going to wear both of these in Positano. That's the plan at least. So the first one, <laughs> I'm in love you guys. It's this dress. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to show it to you too well over the camera. You're going to have to see the try on. But it's this beautiful maxi. It needs steamed. Um, but it has a cutout in between your boobs and like mid stomach. As you can see right there. It's like um, a silky material. It even has lining um, on the boob area. So it stays up. It fits so perfect. Like a glove you guys. Like the most perfect fitting. It's maxi and then it has like two little slits and the color again you guys is just so stunning. It's gonna look beautiful in Positano with like all the colorful buildings. It's like the perfect dinner outfit. And I got it in a US 6 Australian 10. So that's I guess my size. Everything will be linked down below that I can find of course. This is the Melody Maxi dress. Uh, and the prices aren't on these tags, so I'll have to just put it on the screen when I find the links and everything. So that's the first dress. And then this dress, you guys. <sighs> I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm, I like, I ordered this and I was like, oh god, like, am I ever going to wear this? Like, this is so out of my comfort zone. But I was like, you know what? This is a sleigh. This is like a major freaking sleigh. And I'm, I bought like a little Skims, like undergarment like tube bra and like panty set but like not thong like it covers my butt panty set to go under this because obviously you can see everything but it is this beautiful baby blue what would you even call this like crochet it goes in like all different directions it has a little cutout on the side. It's long sleeve. It has an angled neck. Um, I know there's a actual name for that style, but I can't think of it right now. You know what I mean? Like it like sits like that. You'll see in the try on. Um, I have Spanx, like short Spanx. I can put under this with a tube top. Or, um, but yeah, this dress is so beautiful. It's like a midi dress, um, and it's gonna be a dinner fit. And I'm gonna wear like black heels with it and. It's just stunning. This is one of my favorite pieces that I bought from them and it fits amazing and I feel super confident. Hugs me in all the right areas. Chef's kiss, same sizing. And again, pricing's not on the tag, so I will put it on the screen. If you guys have never ordered any clothing pieces from Amazon, literally, what are you doing? I find the best dupes ever on Amazon. It's definitely a risk. But not really, because Amazon takes all returns. Like, they're not stingy when it comes to that. Um, if something doesn't fit or it's bad quality, you just tell them. You put it in a little bag, or you can literally go drop it off without a bag, without a tag. And you give me, like, a little barcode. It costs you nothing, and you get an instant refund. Like, girl, order your clothes off Amazon. The best. 
I bought so much off Amazon. I think I spent like a total of like 150 bucks. And when I say like three fourths of my wardrobe for this trip is Amazon, I'm not kidding. I'm gonna start off with the casual piece and then all of these dresses behind me are Amazon. So the first is this little two piece set, which I will be ordering in every single color. I highly suggest you do the same. It fits amazing. It's so comfortable. Um, I don't have to wear a bra with it. If I didn't want to wear underwear, I wouldn't have to wear underwear. Like the quality is outstanding, not see-through at all. Okay, so it's a two-piece set. The first is this ruched um, or ribbed, whatever you prefer to say. Um, little blue one-shoulder top, stunning. I really love blue for this trip. I feel like it's a really beautiful color to wear in Italy because everything's so colorful and like just bright. Um, so I got this little one-piece shoulder and one-piece shoulder, one, wow, one-shoulder top. <laughs> and it's in a size medium and then these are the matching shorts i need to iron them but they're just like these flowy shorts that tie super comfortable good length my butt doesn't hang out of them which is saying something because my butt hangs out of all shorts it's like the most frustrating thing ever but this whole set Right here, I want to say it was like $18. I'll put the actual pricing on the screen. Everything will be linked down below. But Amazon usually doesn't put their pricing on their products. And then, you guys know that um, famous free people dress. Like the maxi dress that has like little strands in the back. And it's like a tubey. Or you can like put it around your neck and it flows. It's like $120. Yeah, I almost bought that. And I was like, am I really about to spend $120 on a dress? I'm like, hmm. Let's do a deep dive on Amazon, you guys. It's literally the same dress, same quality, feels the same, looks the same. I saw it in person in store. I could not tell you which one was Amazon and which one was Free People. And this dress was like $20. What? <laughs> like, shout out to Amazon. Free People, I love you so much. But shout out to Amazon. Um, this dress fit amazing. You'll see in the try on the only like wonky thing is this I think it's like I don't know. It's really big and you have to like take the strings and Make it tighter and like tie it and you get to like double knot it or it doesn't stay up and You need to wear spanks and a bra because it is quite see-through um, But if I'm being honest so is the free people one. Um, I think it's just because the material is like a really beautiful, like almost linen material, which is almost always see-through unless you double line it. But absolutely stunning. You'll see in the try-on. Amazing. I actually cut off the string that goes around your neck because I don't like things around my neck. I have a bad neck and it ends up giving me a headache. So I cut that off and I'm just going to wear it as a little strapless piece. Beautiful. I can't remember if it was off of like Nordstrom Rack or something or Amazon, so I'm just going to include in this little Amazon moment that we have here, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm still going to link them, but I got these really cute little gold Steve Madden sandals. They were originally, I want to say like 100 bucks, and I got them for like $40, but they're stunning. They're super comfortable if the glare would go away. They're just like a really, really pretty gold. I thought they were like more elegant than most sandals, and... Would look really good. I plan on wearing these with the pink dress from Zara that I'm going to wear to Tuscany. I plan on wearing, excuse me, these with a lot of things. Like all my little dresses I have that aren't for dinner and I don't want to wear heels with, I'll wear these. I thought they were really pretty. Um, I got a size 7. They fit perfect, true to size. I'll link them down below. Now let's go into the remainder of my dresses here. Oh! heavy <laughs> um i have a cb a house of cb dupe in here for you two houses houses house of cb wow you guys i think i need more coffee i don't really know two house of cb dupes i have a princess poly dupe all the dupes baby all the dupes so first dress is this stunning one I plan to wear in Rome. I don't know why, it just like screams Roma to me. So it's this really beautiful ruched little maxi dress. It has all these really pretty like 
cream and orange and pink flowers on it with like a bunch of greenery and then it has little ruffles going through the whole dress it's not fully a maxi but it's not a midi it's like almost a maxi um but it's just really pretty it's one shoulder and i thought this would look so beautiful just walking around rome with like a jean jacket those gold sandals or like little black sandals um, but it fit really nice. It actually ran a little big. I got a size medium. I would suggest sizing down I washed and dried it took the risk and it shrunk it a little bit and now it fits better But it definitely I would say runs on the larger side So for this one I say size down but stunning very European to me very comfortable not see-through great quality I'll probably still wear Spanx just because it makes me feel more comfortable with dresses, but beautiful the next one is a Princess Polly dupe. I really wanted this dress from Princess Polly for this trip, but it was sold out in my size. So I like literally went on Amazon. I was like, long maxi Princess Polly dupe. <laughs> and this came up. So, um, and it's the dress that I wanted. It has like all this lace detailing. It's a maxi dress. It goes all the way down. It has like these beautiful florals all over it. Very tight and like form fitting. I thought it was gonna be like a little bit more flowy, like not exactly flowy, but not exactly tight. Mm -mm, girl, it is tight, it hugs everything, but it still looks really beautiful. And I got it for a lot less. I'm so I will put the price on the screen. I got a size medium. If you don't want it to be so tight, I would size up, but be careful because the straps are not adjustable, so it might get too long on you if you do that. Next is a CB. Doopy. Um, I wanted this dress off of the house to see me really, 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 really bad. Um, it looks very similar to this. Not exact. I think theirs didn't have any flowers on it, but I could be mistaken. I thought this one was even cuter, if I'm being honest. It is one of the most flattering and beautiful dresses I've ever put on my body. I know I've said that for a lot of dresses, um, but I'm just being honest, you guys. Hold on. Sorry. This, like, zipper was looking weird. It's this strapless white dress with all of these beautiful roses. It cinches on the waist and then it's like a little mini ruffle, that trend again, mini ruffle, mini dress. This is screaming Rome or Florence to me. I'm obsessed. Like I might wear this during the day and not even call it a dinner outfit because I just wanna wear it longer than just dinner. And I feel like in Italy, like everyone in Europe, everyone dresses really, really nice and they take their fashion very seriously, as do I. And I usually feel a little out of place in America, depending on where I am, like Tampa, my area. Like I can't wear this during the day here, but I feel like it'll fly in Italy. Beautiful though. Dupe, I wanna say this is like $16. I got in a size medium, you'll see in the try on, it's literally everything and more. Okay, the next one is another maxi i'm actually not bringing i'm not bringing the next two with me but i wanted to include them because i did buy them originally for italy and then i ended up having too many dresses i thought and we're going on a cruise as well soon so i was like i'll just save it for the cruise but it's this square neck or it's called a square neck. yeah square neck yeah dress with all these little flowers all over i thought it was really pretty if it'll focus good enough um, it has a cutout back and little straps just wrap around the arms and then it's a maxi goes all the way down it's very tight again like the other one there's no slits or anything in it though um, this one's a little bit more see-through I'd say the quality isn't quite as high as the other dresses so you definitely want to wear some Spanx and a bra some sticky boobs something but you'll see the try on like it's a really beautiful dress um, I just didn't need it for Italy and I thought it would look a lot cuter on a cruise um, or like a more summery, not more summery vacation, but like, you know what I mean, a cruise or like to the beach or something, but I thought it was really pretty. The next dress is actually the last item I got from Amazon, right? Other than my suitcases, which here i'll insert a photo of i love them they're really great um the smaller carry-on zips in the front and opens and you can put your laptop your electronics your chargers and easily access them um really great suitcases they both lock and they were super affordable i just don't want to pick them up because they're kind of filled with stuff right now but i got them in black 
insert the photo i'll leave a link down below excellent like i really highly recommend haven't taken them on a trip yet so i'll give you guys an update but quality wise for packing everything they look great but other than that um the last thing is this beautiful house of cb duke number two um it's a high square neck again and it's like super thick double lined quality i'm super impressed and then it's ruched all the way down and it has a slit and then like these little ruffles like how beautiful is that it's like a really beautiful mauve green and i think i'm gonna wear this in matera italy um when we go to like dinner or something along those lines definitely a dinner fit but for some reason it just like screams matera so i think that's where i'm going to wear this one but you'll see in the try on it's really really cute the only thing is kind of makes my butt look a little flat which is hard because i definitely have a big butt and that usually is not the case but I think it's just like the shaping of the dress, so I don't know. But whatever, it's still really beautiful and like it is what it is, you know? Okay, and then the last store is Shein. I typically don't order that much off of Shein, but for this trip I was like, I need a lot of like midi skirts and dresses and basics and things that I don't want to go out and spend a fortune on and... You know, I'd rather save my money to be able to shop and spend while I'm in Italy. And whenever I do order from Shein, honestly, it's pretty good quality and I don't really have many complaints. So let's go ahead and get into it because I honestly got a lot. <laughs> so the first three things, which were the last three things that came in, this is what I was waiting for to film this haul. The first one is this little wraparound cardigan. It's a really beautiful tan. Um... And it's just super cropped and it just wraps around. There's no buttons or anything. It's super comfortable and cute. It will probably fall off your shoulders a little bit if you're like slouching or like whatnot. But super inexpensive, pretty good quality, woven, very cute. And it'll look great over any piece. Oh, okay. See, there we go. It doesn't want to stay on anything. Even me, you know. And then I got this white one which is oh my gosh, which is longer and it has buttons and it's just a knitted white cardigan um not too thick it's not going to be that cold when we're there so i don't want to be sweaty but i thought it would match everything that i have and it's just a great staple i think to have in your wardrobe and then this top is everything you guys this beautiful beautiful top um so it is very vintage like like vintage europe is what this screams honestly a little bit more like french to me than italian but it's beautiful and i'm taking it with me and i'm wearing it um it's black and then it has all different colored florals all over it it's like a um corset top but without the corset so it's a lot more comfortable and the back is super stretchy and the straps are not adjustable they're like almost too long on me but it works and they fit and it's just like a beautiful beautiful top i'm gonna wear that with either black pants or this like cream skirt i have i'll try them both on in the try on and maybe you guys can help me decide which one looks better the next one i bought and I originally did want to wear in Italy, but it's pretty open. Like, my whole back is open, my whole sides are open, and I just feel a little revealed to wear this around John's family. Um, and, like, I wouldn't be able to, like, go into churches and things like that. So I feel like it would be too difficult to wear. So I'm just going to save it for the cruise. But it's one of these dresses that goes over your boobs open back and then it cinches down to like your hips and then it's just a maxi really beautiful like green color very see-through so you need a bra and you need spanks for sure but super inexpensive and good quality for what you pay like it doesn't look cheap it's just a little mesh but then again it's like a really woven material so you kind of have to expect it to be somewhat see-through i got this midi skirt I actually saw a girl order this on TikTok from Shein for Italy, and I was like, that's so cute, I need it. So I found it, and I ordered it. <laughs> but it's green, and it has little white and black flowers all over it. Fits like a glove. I'll definitely wear Spinks under it. It's a little see-through, 
but it's a midi skirt super soft and comfortable and lightweight so i won't be hot and i'm just gonna pair a either a black tank or the white tank i got from free people next is this beautiful tube top i thought this was just like a stunning spring um tube to have but it's baby yellow which is my favorite color if you didn't know and then it has all these pastel florals all over it i have these white shorts i bought from h&m a few months ago and i actually haven't worn them so i'm bringing them with me i'm gonna pair them with this top and again probably those gold sandals and i could also see this being my outfit for pompeii and sorrento um or i could also see myself wearing this to capri so we'll kind of have to see on the weather but i think they're really beautiful great pictures um and i think it'll look really pretty with like all the colorful buildings and everything in italy next are two long dresses so i wanted strapless maxi dresses i would say this is a skims dupe it hugs you like a skims dress does but the quality is not quite there it's a little bit see-through i'm gonna have to wear sticky boobs or a strapless top and some spanx but it's just a plain black maxi which I see myself wearing one of the days for sure. And then it has a little black slit down the bottom of the back of it, which is probably really hard to see on camera. But I wanna say this is like $9. And the Skims one is $88, I believe. So just put on Spanx. <laughs> um, but I'm definitely gonna get a Skims dress eventually. I just didn't see the reasoning behind spending that much on a dress I'm gonna wear one time in Italy um for italy you know like i'd rather spend my money again while i'm there so but i thought this was really beautiful and i really wanted a black plain maxi so shan came to the rescue the other dress is this really beautiful black and white striped one this is more of a midi dress um but it fits like a glove super flattering i'm so comfortable in it again a little see-through you're gonna have to wear sticky boobs or a strapless bra and some spanx but i want to say this it was like six dollars like it was seriously so inexpensive um so like literally why not and i'm gonna wear this with a jean jacket and my new superga sneaks i got i think i'll show you and those as well um either that or i'm bringing these black sandals i got at target um that'll look really good with this too so we'll have to see but that was a great dress. I'll be super comfortable and um, look cute with everything. I think this is our last item, you guys. Crazy. So I got this black tee from Shein. And I love this because the whole back is cut out. Can you see that? Here. There you go. So the back is super low, open, fully cut out. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's really good quality too. Like, it's not see-through at all. I'm still gonna wear sticky boobs with it, but so good. I wanna say it was like $7. It was super inexpensive. Um, but I'm gonna wear this with honestly any pieces. I'm bringing one pair of jeans and those cream shorts, and that's like the only denim I'm bringing. So I could wear this just to like throw on with either of those. I could wear it with the green and white and black skirt from Shein. I could wear it with honestly anything. I'm also bringing this skirt. I actually have it right here. This is not new, but I'll go ahead and show you so you can like envision it. I got this skirt on clearance at Zara like a year ago and I haven't had a chance to wear it. So I'm bringing it because it's stunning. It has like this little knot in the front. It's a beautiful beige silky dress. It splits in the front. Super cute. And I think I'm going to make it more casual and wear this top with it and my black little shoes that I have um but yeah pause my super guys I got these sneaks I'm still breaking them in so I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes but it's like a beautiful beige platform shoe pretty comfortable um they just definitely need broken in more but I love these and I thought they would just match everything give me a little bit of height they're scuffed I wore them one time anyways um i sized down a whole size so i got a size six and they fit like a glove so if i could get like a 6.25 like not a six and a half but like a half of a six and a half like in between a six and six and a half they'd fit perfect but that's not a choice so i got these 
beige snakes from Superga and I'm super excited to style these and wear them. They were like super European to me and super cute and I thought they would match everything. That is everything that I bought clothing and shoe wise for Italy. I'm super excited. I can't wait to style all these pieces. Um, make sure you're following my Instagram because obviously I'll be posting like crazy on there. Stories and on my feed and everything. Um, and I'm just really, really excited. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And my next video will be a pack and prep with me that will be going up on Tuesday, our travel day, um, where I show you guys everything I got done. I obviously got my hair done, I got lash extensions, I laminate and wax and dye my own brows, I got my nails done. I show you guys kind of like the other things I ordered, like my drone. I bought a mini DJI drone for this trip and you'll be able to see how I pack and like all the other things that I got. So if you would enjoy that, you can watch that video as well. It'll go up right after this one. And then of course we're vlogging in Italy and you really don't want to miss those vlogs. So subscribe, stick around, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.